Festivities wrapping up, and we'll be back to. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Opening day baseball on the show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the San Diego Padres. Ready to go. Mookie Betts will get us started. And a pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. To third, handled by Machado. One up, one down. Shohei Otani up to the dish. Big time power. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. No ball. So back in 2023, Shohei hit a home run, stole a base, and had a scoreless pitching outing in the same game. You'll never guess the last person to do it. Pablo Sandoval. Oh, you're good. I feel like I've heard that one before. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. He's going. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. In the air, right center. This is mashed way back and gone. A two-run homer. It's 2 nothing. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, boo. Aggressive, and it paid off. Well, he went up there 0-0 oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. And up to the plate is Will Smith. And first offering is fouled off. Musgrove, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a curb, a cutter, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Swings through that one for strike two. On the ground, right side. Bogarts with the throw to first. And they get the out on Smith. Two outs, base is empty. Here's some real power at the plate. Max Muncy. And oh. that one almost got him. Straighten him up one a little out. bit. Up and oh. in. Now 2-0. Oh. Well, he gave up the home run earlier in this inning. Not pitching as aggressively here. Oh, a great grab on the dive. Throws from his knees. And that's a nice play to end the inning. You're kind of around the league average in terms of ERA. And you know what? That's why you have five different spots in the start of the rotation. You've got to have people round things out. And not everyone's going to pitch like a number one or number two every outing or every season. But last year, he gave his team an opportunity and a chance to win every time he took the bat. Throws wide, and it gets past him at first. Well, oh, that's just an unacceptable error right there. Just kind of lackadaisical in getting it back into the infield, and there's really no excuse for that. Turned a simple single into a runner in scoring position now. We're watching a former Rays pitcher today in Glass now. He had plenty of good years in Tampa Bay before being traded. He's not the first. It falls in, and that's a hit. Headed for the plate. He'll score easily. And they trail by one. And that's a double. Time. 
So man aboard one down, and it's Tatis at the plate. And a foul ball. They'll see you. This is a guy that grew up in big league clubhouses, and it's something that you see throughout the game. Sons, whose father has also played the majors. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive side of the game, right? I mean, missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third, run out, couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on this level. Of well, got to pause on that thought, as that'll do it for the inning. Padres with the run scoring double. Second inning set to go. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux. Musgrove back to work. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Profar brings it in, and there's one down. And up next for Los Angeles, James Outman. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Azokar makes the grab, and there's two gone. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Hernandez, 31 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. And that's outside. Ball two. Two out, space is empty. They say you win. Two and one. That one three, not one. close, and that's ball three. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher is afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is great. Two outs. Back up the... Oh, at first and now we'll check on the right-hander hope he's all right definitely some concern here that ball came back and got him right on the pitching arm as you can see him trying to shake it off and if nothing else you worry about him getting some dead arm and losing some feeling but from what I can tell I think they're gonna let him continue and that's a really good sign here's Jason Hayward First no, pitch misses. Outside. Hayward, a multi-gold glove award winner, getting ninth in today's lineup. And he's usually in center, but today starting in right. Just oh, missed. Well, less responsibility for him today, making the move from being the captain of the outfield to moving to right field. So he let his center fielder take those balls in the gap and kind of like a little day off. And that'll do it. They head to the bottom of the second, and now the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth, pitches in there. It's 0-1. Cronenworth measures six feet even, 185 pounds, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2015. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter, and somehow it just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. He got the outside corner of the plate and got that call third strike. Pounding ball here, rolls foul. To Capita Marcano in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information. And down on strikes he goes. The big righty strikes out the side. Padres down in order. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the Dodger leadoff hitter, Mookie Betts. Musgrove back to work. Into center. Azokar moving under it. Makes the grab one down. Here's Shohei Otani. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. 
Otani. First Line offering misses badly Line for ball up. one. You can never say enough about Otani. In 2023, he became the first player in AL-NL history to hit 40-plus home runs and record more than 10 wins in a Here season. Not even close there. Yeah, that's ball two. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. He's already homered in this game. Shohei on the go. It's a pitch out. And safe. It's a stolen base. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, Ball. he really Ball. made his athleticism work for Coming him on that one. Man at second. Nope. Ball. Ball. And he grounds one to the right side. And he takes it himself for the out. The batter now will be Will Smith. Grounded out his first time. That's to third. A sliding stop. Over to first. And they get the out. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning. So digging in now for San Diego, Jose Azokar. Oh, one. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. Struck him out looking. Well, he went up there trying to be aggressive, that's for sure. Hacking at those first two pitches, but clearly that last one fooled him. He could have been sitting on something else entirely, but you want to be able to adjust on 0-2 and at least get a swing off when it's in the zone. Maybe choke up, maybe spread out your stance a little bit. You got to give the guy credit on the mound, though. He went right after it. Bogarts, batting with one down, takes a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. In the air, out towards right center. Hayward on the move to the alley. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that quickly, two away. Kim now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Your ball, one strike. Oh, and two now. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing there for the Friar. Back here at Petco Park. Start of the fourth, down the third baseman, Max Muncy. The pitch. Swings through that one for strike one. These hitters have come out ready to swing the bats early in the count and swing it often. If you want to score some runs, have an offensive explosion, that can be a route to doing it. Righty to the plate. And another ball. Hit hard, that gets through. He was all over that. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job. Over to Kim. One. How about that double play? For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. He's got it. And that is out number...
Back here with my pal Siggy. Ready to go. Bottom four. Here's Manny Machado now. You know, these Padres just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this no, one. They've gone down on strikes at a high rate today, so it's probably time to simplify the approach and just find ways to put the ball in play. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And a good oh. eye there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Check swing on the 2-2. Appeal to first. He did not go around. Back to work. 3-2 now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And a payoff pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, he's on a great run of strikeouts and showing excellent control and command, not walking opposing batters. You know, this offense, they've got to find a way to break his rhythm, put the bat on the ball, maybe try to bump for a base hit, get him off the mound, moving around, step out, something to interrupt his timing because... That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. Tatis around second. Lux with a relay throw. The tag, and he's out trying for three. Here's the catcher, Luis Campusano. Liner, base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. No Cronenworth, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. And now one, one and two. Rarely will you see a pitcher just waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't Zero. got him looking. That ends the inning. No runs on two base hits. No errors and one left. Back here in San Diego, now the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. And the right hander back to work. Could be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in. Not going to get him. He's in there. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night and just a triple and home run away from the cycle seriously we're starting with this already hey in no now threat. takes ball one off the plate you know these Dodgers doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game and the numbers back that up they have yet to strike yeah. out and they're averaging more than a hit per inning that's a great recipe for success right there man it's second and oh. another ball and a pitch that's inside well you got to give him credit out there on the mound this outing started off a little shaky but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start that shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Now it's Mookie Betts. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. On the ground, out to short. Rolls across the diamond, and they got him. Next to hit, Shohei Otani. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out oh of the zone. That's the third. Machado. Slings it across. And they get Otani for the out. And we're back. John Chavi with my buddy Chris Singleton. And set to get us started. Bottom five. Jerks in pro far. The pitch. In for a strike. 0-1. Swing and a miss as he was out front. No ball, two strikes. That misses and the zone, and the count one and two. Good job to fight that one off. Glass now, ready and deals. 
Fights that one away, still one and two. The pitch. Swings and misses, struck him out. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. I love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity, and it is hard to catch up to. Betts to first, two up, two down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another right. ground ball. Good execution. Azokar stands in now and watches strike one. Right two. And a big swing and a miss. Ahead 0-2 in the ball. count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. Kicks and deals. Hard ground ball base nine. And Xander Bogarts with a chance to make an impact with two away. Everything came together for him. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Right through there for a strike. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. The Dodgers leading by a run. Last half of inning number five. Lux. On to first. That is the inning. The runs. Top of the sixth inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Freddie Freeman. The right-hander back to work. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. On the mound, he had a little trouble back in the first, but it's been a different story the rest of the way. Really yeah. settled into this outing nicely. 1-1. One, one. Left hand hitter waits. And he hits a ground ball right side. Bogarts. And that's Freeman is retired. Now, that. now it's the, the Dodger catcher. cleanup hitter, Will, Will Smith. Smith. You know, the first manager to ever win a game here at Petco Park oh was Tony Gwynn. Yes, Tony Gwynn. They had a college baseball tournament here in March 2004, and Tony managed San Diego State to a win. Throw over to Cronenworth, and they get the out on Smith. Your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more oh. and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. That's in for a strike at 95 and one and one. Ripped on the ground a second, and the Dodgers are set down in order. Nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ha Sung Kim. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. Just off the outside edge. Going to count one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total. And you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Machado in the box again. Takes a strike. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Popped in the air, left field. Hernandez makes the play, and there's two away. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. First pitch oh. doesn't find the zone. One out. And a base hit up the middle, and that keeps the inning alive. Those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Right. Such a good feeling. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. 
throw stops the lead runner at second two on and two out and now Jake Cronenworth oh he doesn't get the call ball one that one back up the middle and it gets through here comes Tatis around third. He'll score and they tie. It's 2-2. Two -two. Well, he gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Swing and a drive, deep right field. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. 2-2 two -two game. Back here with my pal Siggy, and now it's Gavin Lux. Musgrove back to work. And a foul ball left side. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Now the 0-1. Fly ball down the line. Tatis drifts towards it, and he makes the catch. And a quick out number one. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Bogarts with the throw to first. And he's out. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Swings and misses. Going along. He's controlling track. things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-2. Oh, you can't kill. really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. you got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Way one, outside. Two. Now 1-2. and two. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes, and a nice inning of work. Bottom of the seventh, leading off to Capita Marcano. That one finds the zone, and that is strike one. I'm really impressed with this offense. They haven't been timid at the plate at all. They've been aggressive, and they're keeping the defense on its toes. So far, they've got seven hits within the first three pitches of an at-bat, so there's been no time to get comfortable on the mound. Next for the Padres, Jose Azokar. Breaking ball in there for a strike. And there's a foul ball. All tied up. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes. The sort of pitch you're hoping for. A bit of a mistake. And I'd say in a very hittable location. But clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Foul off down the right side. Timing issues can snowball quickly, and that's what we're witnessing here. This lineup's inability to lock onto the pitcher's delivery is causing a few awkward swings. That misses. Now one and two. I got to call NLDS game four here in 2022 at Petco Park, where the Padres knocked out their rivals, the L.A. Dodgers. The place was just nuts the entire game. Terrific fan support at the belt and fires sneaks through base hit and that extends the inning ha Sung Kim the next up for the Padres and a foul ball two gone the possible go ahead run at first if you're a base runner you got to stay dialed in here look for anything in the dirt Try your best to get into scoring position. On the ground to the left. They take the force out. Flip to first, ends the end. Welcome back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Johnny Brito. Jason Hayward steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Here comes a pitch. Swings and misses. Strike one. Okay, swing now. He had his mind made up as soon as that ball left the hand of the pitcher. He was going to swing at it. Ball. Wouldn't chase that time.
misses. And the count is even two and two. That's a really good take. Fights it off. He'll see another. And the right hander deals. Ripped on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. And now it's Mookie Betts. Out to short. In plenty of time to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Shohei Otani steps to the plate for the Dodgers. This guy with light tower power. Just no, that missed. missed. That's the ball. Brito, 26 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Gets him to chase after that one. Activity in the bullpen for San Diego. Jairo Iriarte appears to be getting loose. Fouled off. He was late. That one ripped, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. In with a double, and the go-ahead runs at second with two out. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bat pack to the ball, and caught it out front, and he stayed long in his follow-through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. A lot riding on this next at bat now as they look to take the lead at a critical point this one. Stepping in, Freddie Freeman. He takes it himself. Back here at Petco Park. Bottom of the eighth. Here's the third baseman, Manny Machado. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Brewstar Grotterol. You're a In the dirt, and it's one and oh. Yeah, and that's in there at the knees. One and one. Kicks and fires. That's, no, that's a little low. bit low. Ball. Still two and two after the foul ball. Bounce to the right side. Freeman oh. takes it to the bag. Lead off man is out here in the eighth. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. Right through there for a strike. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter. Way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. One Not ball, close strike. with that one. And that is ball one. And the righty deals. That's a ball. And another ball. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats. And the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. Two down. Luis Campusano, the next up for the Padres. That one lifted to left. Hernandez under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And we're back. We go to the ninth. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Will Smith. Brito back to work. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. And here it comes. Hey. And a swing and a miss. 0-2. Oh and the pitch. That one, one way outside. Strike. One and two to count. Stays alive. And he deals. Pitch That's misses. And the count's even at two. Wouldn't Don't chase pull. that time. Really good run. Perhaps a little bit too much on that two seamer. Couldn't hold the corner. And he walked Ball him. Four. Runner take the base. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over first. No outs. Runner at first. Here comes Max Muncy. One for three. 
And that's downstairs and outside. Way to lay off that pitch down. Check swing, no appeal. Nice job to keep the hands back on that one. Out in front just a little bit. Left-hand batter waits. No, oh, he doesn't get the, the call. Ball three. Hell on this count. Runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Swings through that. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Ball four. He walked in. And that'll keep the line moving. Oh, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Yeah, Gavin Lux Look. steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And that one fouled off. The 0 1. On the ground, a second might be two. Off balance feed, there's one. Over to first, safe. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. And, and now the center fielder, James Outman. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first. Runner, runner. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Oh, great stop. Takes it himself, and he got him. Nicely done at first for the out. Nice diving stop right there. Gets the out. Great reactions. Excellent job of finishing the play with a nice, easy throw. Teoscar Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Coming home. The throw in. He scores. And they lead by two. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked. But that's a good approach paying off. And now, here's a rip to short. But he's there for the third out. Back here in San Diego, we head to the bottom of the ninth. And here's the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Evan Phillips will take over here. A chance at his first save of the year. The pitch. That one finds the zone. Strike one. On the ground. Bats up with it. That takes care of Cronenworth. A couple of pitches and quick out. Now batting jerks and Profar. Just that missed. Miss. That's the ball. Phillips. A very difficult guy wow. to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against him. He wins every pitch. And for a hitter, sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches. So it's their last chance in this one. Now the DH for the Padres. Tuca Pita. Fouls one off out of play back to our left. Unless he beats himself, somehow one, can't one. find it, doesn't have the control command that day, you can pretty much forget about it. So a foul ball makes it one and two. As a hitter, there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake. Ground ball, and this should do it. Throw to first, ball game. And the Dodgers take the season opener and move to 1-0. and oh. Well, his first save of the season is in the books, and that was a nice job of him coming in the game and closing it out. He's off and running now. And your final, 4-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. Here now is our final line score tonight.